Hey guys, and welcome back to Mommy Talk. I wanted to do a what's in my kids Easter baskets video vlog really fast. I know that I'm cutting it kind of close because Easter is this Sunday, but I figured it would be really nice just to kind of show off what I got for my kids for Easter, any last minute gift ideas for you guys and or just some ideas for next year or just gift ideas I guess in general if you watched my video last year or remember it at all I wanted to kind of move more in the direction of like you know very simplistic kind of Easter's I really didn't dislike the idea of having like second Christmas as Easter has kind of become known as and I didn't want to buy like really expensive baskets that were like they cost a lot of money like monetary wise but really were just like worth not very much money product wise, like the quality of product in it isn't very good. I wanted to kind of show off my unique uh, basket ideas again, as well as what I put in them to try and get the, the quality of what I'm putting in them a little bit more higher, but also keep it budget friendly. So even though all of the items in there aren't like super cheap quality, um, they're not like super expensive either. So I, I always try to find like bargain deals as much as I can. And there are a few items from the dollar store just to have in there, just to have in there. So I did get some items from the dollar store and some I purchased online, like from Amazon. And I spent around $30 or a little bit less than $30 for all of my items, which isn't too bad. That's about $7, $7.50 per kid, which for, you know, that's like not too bad, I think for Easter baskets. Um, for four kids, that's, that's what I spent was $30 total. So like I said, if you, Remember my video from last year. I'm gonna go ahead and just reuse the baskets that we made last year, which are these clay pots. And you can see that they're each all personalized with their names and personalized with their own decorations. This is something I came up completely by myself. And I really love the idea behind this because it gets more than one use. If I can get something that's like an investment in something that I get more than one use, I'm such a happy camper, I'm such a happy mama. And obviously these have lasted more than one year. We did these last year for Easter and they've stayed in great shape, but we do use them for like flowers in the spring as well. Like I said, I really like the idea behind the fact that like I can use them for Easter baskets and then right afterwards I'm using them for something else that's useful and productive as well. They're a pretty decent size of pot, so I can fit quite a bit inside of it. And um, as you can see, I still even have the tissue paper that I used last year. I tried to use like brightly colored pastel spring looking colors. Um, and I might do that again. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use for the grass yet, but I'll probably just do the same thing. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the actual products. I put them all in one box just to kind of keep them all in one place, but they did not all come from this one box. So I guess I'll go ahead and show the dollar store items off first. The first thing I'm gonna go ahead and show is actually not something that's quite Easter basket-y like toy, but I went ahead and picked up these from the dollar store. And you can see that these are ceramic eggs with like a little ornament thing on top. It comes with a little paintbrush and some paints. And I really love the idea behind this because a lot of times when we're decorating eggs, you know, when the boys are trying to participate, they'll end up like breaking the hard boiled eggs, which, you know, they're hard boiled eggs, so it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just kind of hard for them to handle. Yes, these are ceramics, so yes, they are breakable, but I thought it would be like a really fun way for them to participate in participate in decorating. Well, also, you know, it's kind of also a keepsake thing because they don't expire, and obviously because they're not organic, and so I can keep them later. So I'm probably gonna have them each decorate an egg and then put them in their Easter baskets just as kind of a little personal type thing. My mom used to do that when we were um, little. She would decorate us each a personal egg and then stick it in our Easter basket so we would kind of know which one is which. So I wanted to kind of carry on that tradition. And when I saw these at the dollar store, I thought they were super fun um, for the kids to be able to participate with. So there are four of those and one actually ended up breaking. So I have to go back to the store and get another one. I might actually even get two so that maybe I can decorate one as well with them. Not really sure about that yet. The next couple items that I got, um, like I said, are from the dollar store. Zuko actually got into one of the bags. When I brought these home, when I wasn't looking, he like saw, he, he like snuck into them, which is actually why this egg is broken. And it's also why the next couple items are open technically. But these um, I got at the dollar store and they're little like bug catcher things. So it came, comes with like a net, this little bug holder thing that come, you know, it's got like a little trap you can open. Oh goodness. This is supposed to, there we go. It's got like a little trap thing you can open, um, little spy glass to like look in on the bugs. And I got two of those. Like I said, they were opened by Zuko. And I got two of those because Lyric and Zuko have been like 
really into bugs lately. Like the other day, for example, Lyric like found an ant crawling on our floor and he's like, oh my gosh, an ant. And then he like picked it up and like let it crawl all over his arm. He wouldn't let anybody squish it. And he was very protective of it. And even though internally I was like freaking out, <laughs> Um, externally, I'm like, wow, yeah, that's really cool. Look at the way it crawls. And I was trying to be like scientific about it, you know, supportive of his interests. So anyway, so I think they're, they're gonna really enjoy that. I got two um, bug catcher things um, for them to explore with. For Shaden's kind of random toy, I got this jump rope tangle theme. And before you say anything, yes, I know it's probably technically considered feminine or girly or whatever, but I don't really apply, if you've been if you've been watching me for a while, you know I don't really apply that kind of stuff, those gender roles um, in my house. And the only other options for boys were like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I'm just so tired of buying like the same products marketed towards boys over and over and over again. I wanted him to have some variety and he really likes the movie Tangled. We really like Disney in general in this house. Yes, it's pink and purple, but it's Tangled and he's gonna like it. So I just had to get that out there cause I just really, you know, people have their weird judgments. And then for Parker's random gift for the dollar store, I got him these Spider-Man cards because he does really like Spider-Man. The next few items are the ones that I bought on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link everything down below in case you do want to purchase them for yourself. I also wanted it to be, like I said, something that is like something that's used outside of just toys or just outside of Easter. And so, I, so this year I decided to make kind of a gardening theme. We have this little plot of land out in our backyard right now. It's a perfect spot for a future veggie slash produce garden that I'm going to attempt this year with the boys. So that's what all of these products are for. So the first thing I'm gonna show is, I actually got these in a four pack for less than $10. And I loved it because they're all bright and neutral colored, um, neutral, you know, solid colors. A lot of what I was seeing was either really feminine or like floral patterns, or it came in like a set for like one child, you know, like I was like searching child gloves, child gardening tools, etc. And they would come in like these big sets that were really expensive. So when I found an inexpensive, neutral, solid color, four pack of gloves, because obviously I need four, um, I was like over the moon, I was so excited. So. Um, I've got those gardening gloves. And then I got um, this watering can. And this is supposed to be one of four gardening tools. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second, I'm showing this separately. So this was actually, I think less than $5. I can't remember exactly how much this was, but it was less than $5. And I was super excited to find this because again, a lot of like the child sized watering cans that I was kind of looking at were either really cheap plastic ones or they were really expensive or they just weren't in like the style that I wanted, which was the, the rain spout. So I found this for really, really cheap and it was listed as decoration. So this is actually supposed to be used for like centerpieces, like for weddings and stuff, which is why I think it was so cheap, but I only needed the one and it's metal. So it's actually really sturdy despite the fact that it was cheaper and it's supposed to be used as decoration. It is very sturdy and it's like the perfect size for like Lyric or Zuko to help water the plants. Now the next item I bought was supposed to be, so that was supposed to go in like Zuko's Easter basket um, and the rest of the boys were supposed to get actual tools. <laughs> but I accidentally bought something not quite what I expected. So I bought this three pack of gardening tools and as you can tell, they um, turned out to be a lot smaller than I anticipated. So they were listed as child gardening tools. I was comparing two different sets, two different three packs of these child gardening tools. But one of the reviews on the other one was that they kept um, breaking. They kept falling off because there was like a one nail style and it kept breaking off and lots of people were reviewing that. So I decided to go with the sturdier one, the ones with sturdier reviews, but they are super duper tiny. I was originally thinking that I might try and return them and get a bigger size. However, because they were so cheap and I had to pay to ship them back, I basically wasn't gonna get any of my money back. So I thought, um, I, th I just thought that it wasn't worth it to return them. So I guess I'm keeping these. <laughs> um, then I was kind of thinking, should I just give them to Zuko? Cause I guess they're kind of good size for like really small toddlers. Cause these aren't really gonna do much. Now I think I'm just gonna include them in the, in the Easter baskets regardless, just so that they have them. And if it doesn't really quite work out, 
I'll go ahead and buy like a bigger set later. Not really sure about this, but you know, it would make a great tool set for like really young toddlers for like, I'd say four and under, maybe even three and under. They are really sturdy, you know, so you don't have to worry about that. They're not like super sharp or anything. So pretty safe overall for toddlers. But yeah, so that's supposed to be like the fourth item, you know, for this. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna divvy this up quite yet. Um, we'll see. <laughs> and the last item for like the gardening theme that I actually, I actually did get these from the dollar store. They were four for a dollar. So even though it says 99 cents on them, they were actually only 25 cents. So I've got marigold seeds here, just a random assortment of flowers, flower gardening mix, bachelor button in blue and bachelor button in um, assorted colors. So they're each gonna get a seed pack in their baskets. And then the last item that I got, and this is from Amazon, is supposed to be kind of like, again, just like a toy that they can play with outside of just um, Easter. I kind of just got this because I wanted to get it, mostly is the reason. Um, and so it's this four pack of hand pu puppets. I think that the kids are gonna really enjoy playing with these and making up like puppet shows and stuff like that. Eventually I'd really love to have like one of those puppet theater things. I kind of, I was kind of researching online and there are some really cheap ones that you can actually like fold, which would be kind of cool. So eventually maybe I'd like to move up to puppet theater status, but for now, I thought it would just be really fun to have some puppets. And these were the most Eastery, springy ones I could find. And yes, I know they don't really have anything to do with either one. They're supposed to be like farm, <laughs> farm animals, um, but it had a lamb, which I thought was kind of, Eastery, springy. I couldn't find anything else that was like spring-like. This is a Melissa and Doug four pack of hand puppets and they're very soft. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one of each in their um, Easter baskets. So overall they have about five or six things I think to put in each of their baskets, which again, keeping it kind of simple, they don't need a ton of stuff and each of the stuff they're going to be able to play with for more than just that one day or you know, without it breaking in one day. I'm really excited to um, make up these Easter baskets and I'm really excited for them to be able to use these items and see how they feel about them. I hope that you enjoyed these items and this video as well. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys.